Good morning and welcome to Cindy's Kitchen Christmas Edition. Good to see you this morning. We're a cooking community. We have fun, we're silly, we chitty chat. You don't like that? Love you, Philip. So my hubby sent me flowers this morning. Is that beautimus? Beautimus, I tell ya. Coffee clinks, Joanne. I know, it's cool, huh? It's his hat. He usually wears it to the ICU on Christmas. On uh, Christmas morning, we used to always go and pass out candy or gifts or something to all the ICU nurses and techs that had to work on Christmas day. Um, and we would bring like food and, and stuff like that. And of course with COVID, there will be no passing out of gifts. So, boo. Let's raise our cups. Let's do our last clink. Clink, cheers. Cheers to you all. Mmm. This is the most Christmassy cup I had. It's the burgundy berry green. Woo! I also got a haircut. Look at the back. You ready? Da -da 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 I got this swing thing going. See how short it is in the back? My daughters said that I look like a Karen. That's a bad thing. I know that it's a bad thing. I don't know exactly what it means, but my daughters say that I, the haircut looks like a Karen. I think it's bad, but they're not totally explaining what that means. I know. Oh, it's almost 50. It, well, it's supposed to be 60 some odd. So anyway, you and Tim and the whole family. Good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. Benji lives in Enid, Oklahoma and is a very crafty girl. She makes all kinds of fun crafts. All right, let's get started. I know that you are probably going, Cindy, we're making a sandwich on Christmas. I know, but I thought it was so cool that I couldn't wait to see it or w wait to try it. I've never made it. You're my guinea pigs, but it sounded so good. I've tweaked it just a little. So it could either be one sandwich called a veggie rainbow sandwich, or it, you could do three different sandwiches. I'll never be a Karen. Well, again, I don't really know what that means, but it, it didn't come out positive, let me say that. All right, so here's what we're gonna use. Hey, Vicki, good morning. We are going to need an avocado, some cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you could use parsley. Um, I'm also gonna use some pickled, well, these are candied jalapenos. You don't like that, you can leave it out or use green chilies. I'm gonna use a carrot and some red cabbage. <gasps> And then we're also gonna use some whipped cream cheese, whipped, whipped cream cheese. But if you don't have whipped, you could just put the other to room temperature and use your mixer. And then some spices. And then we're gonna need some bread for the sandwich. And I'm using a 12 grain bread, essential grains, just because I like it. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna do the, uh, the one uh, well, I'm gonna do the two. No, I'm gonna do the one that takes the most time first. Okay, so here's what we're gonna need. You're gonna need like a food processor or something like that, okay? I guess it, a small food processor, a handy chopper, something like that. A Karen is someone who constantly complains to neighbor store clerks. Oh, well, I don't do that. I don't know why, maybe I just look. Good morning for at OKC, Vicki. Are you posting on me? We still, I haven't seen it. I wish you lived here. We would eat. I know, Leslie. Uh, you know, I haven't posted on MeWe in about a week and a half. I need to get back on that. Okay, so let's start with our avocado. Um, just make sure it's uh, kind of soft, you know, because we want to make sure that um, it's not hard, you know, rock hard, right? Twist. There's our little doodah. I'm going to hit this. Do a twist. Take out my seed. I don't need my seed. Now, normally I would like cut so you can dice it in there, but I really don't need to do that because I'm just putting it in my food processor. So I'm just gonna use my handy dandy spoon and I'm gonna scoop out. Leslie, you know, I was so good posting on MeWe every day and something happened. I don't know what it was. And then I just, I stopped and I don't know. Hey Gail from cloudy Chicago land. Get Cheryl's back. Cheryl, we have missed you. 
Oh, I wanted to give you, let me get all this out of here. I wanted to give you guys an update on my diamond dot art. Remember I told you um, I, I finished all the diamond dot art that I had and then I painted canvas and then um, spray adhesive the diamond dot on the canvas and then put Mod Podge all over all of it. Um, anyway, so they all dried, they all finished. Boys and Girls Country, uh, my friend picked them up and um, Boys and Girls Country got 17 of them, I think. Okay, now this is probably a quarter cup. I'm just gonna say a handful of cilantro. I'm gonna put this in here. Yum. La. And my pickled jalapenos. Again, ugh. oh, arthritis hands. Oh, okay, I got it. Um, if you're not into spicy, you, you don't have to put too many um, or you don't have to put them at all. Uh, however, we want some, we want a little bit of flavor. So I'm just gonna put four slices. Asifa, hello from Pakistan. Good to see you. All right, and then some garlic. I'm using my roasted garlic. Uh, I'm just gonna put in uh, like two, two cloves. There you go, in. La, la, la. All right, I made another batch. Okay, then just a little salt. My hair, I got a haircut, can you believe it? And a little pepper. Pepper for your poppycock. All right, now um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, smoosh this up. Okay, let's see if I can make this work. You know, the last time I had issues. The last, hold on, let me see where the, the indentation is. Okay, I really do like this. All right, here we go, you ready? It is healthy, Anne from the UK has arrived. All right, here we go, whoops, there we go. See it, can you see it? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add my, um, see, it didn't, it's not all the way smooshy. Smooshy, there's a word for you. So, you can add as much as you want. It, it, it is a new haircut, it's short in the back, look. All short in the back. Um, I'm gonna put, oh, two tablespoons. Look at that. Two tablespoons of whipped cream cheese. Now, again, if you don't have whipped cream cheese, that's fine. You can use regular cream cheese. Just make sure you get it at, at room temperature and it's, you know, there we go. Okay, I love this doodah. Okay, ready? Hey, Anne. Oh, hi, Diane from West Michigan. Oh, there we go. Look, creamy, creamy, yummy. Okay, good enough. Good enough for this cow poke. All right. Off. Look how lovely that is. Mm, mm, mm. All right, we need to taste. I'm just going to do this. I know. Mm. Yum. Yum. Okay, so this is going to go on one of our sandwiches or one of our pieces of bread but I'm gonna set it aside just for right now, okay? I'm gonna push, oh, so good. I could just eat this out of here. It's almost like a green goddess dressing. Now, if you are watching calories or, or whatever, the original recipe for all of this called for yogurt. Can't stand yogurt. Oh, my doodah, this is my food processor. It's called Link Chef ecology series and it comes with this food processor or I can it has these little tools so I can take look at this one I can take this and then I have an immersion blender or put that back there I can take this off oh wait I have to take this off this goes on I think it goes whoops hold on there, then I put this on here, and look. Isn't that cool? A hand mixer, cool, huh? 
So all kinds of little gadgets. All kinds of little gadgets I have for this. I love this. I had to get a new one because the one that I had was the one we got for a wedding present 23 years ago, and it was making a horrible noise. Okay, so our next one, I'm gonna get a bowl and a carrot. I'm gonna chop off the big end. I washed the carrot. I'm not gonna peel the carrot. If you feel it necessary to peel the carrot, that's fine. I rarely do. So, and I'm going to get my little handy dandy hand grater. If you have a box grater, you can do that. If you have the grater attachment on a food processor, you could use that. But I don't need 12 tons of carrot. So, you know, so I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna grate the carrot. Now, how much do we need? So our second spread or our second tier or our second layer of our sandwich is gonna be with this carrot. So kind of depends on how big your bread is, how big is your bread, and uh, how thick you want your layer to be. I figured, I have figured that I have made a big mess on the cabinet already. Um, I figure a carrot. So wholly up to you. My arthritis has been kicking up, and so, you know, you never know. Okay, I have to tell you, the kids decided, because, you know, we're doing Christmas alone, just the four of us. Philip has to work Christmas Eve night in the ICU. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, night, and the day after. And then he has to work New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So... Um, so it's just us, and he'll be sleeping all day. Um, so, but I said, so what do you want for Christmas dinner? I'm sure most of you are having turkey or ham or some fun, you know, whatever. We, the children have decided chicken and dumplings. Homemade chicken and dumplings. That's what they've decided that they want. All right, so look at this. This is probably mm, maybe a half a cup of carrot. Half a cup of carrot. So it was half a carrot. I'll use the rest of it for something else. Okay, I love this hand one. The box one, mm, not so much. All right, now we have to, we're gonna put our same thing, about two tablespoons, two tablespoons of whipped cream cheese. Again though, if you are not a whipped person, and you prefer yogurt, you could use yogurt. Here's the only thing with yogurt. Um, you really, if you're gonna use yogurt for this sandwich, you need to put the yogurt like in a bag and kind of squeeze and get all of the liquid out. Otherwise, this is gonna be a wet sandwich and you don't want that. Hey, Jenna. All right, so we have our two tablespoons of, of cream cheese in our carrot but we're gonna add some seasoning, cause really just carrot. I have garlic in the other one, so I'm gonna carry the garlic over here. Um, maybe, I don't know, a quarter teaspoon. Not a whole lot. And then in my carrot, I'm gonna put some smoked paprika. Mm, because I want that, I'm changing the flavor just a bit. And again, maybe just like I said, a quarter teaspoon. Cause we don't have very much here, right? We are having your recipe for sweet and sour chicken and air fried egg rolls and cream cheese wontons. Vicki, how fun. Vicki sent me a picture and she did, um, oh, what did you do? Vicki, now I can't even remember, old girl. She made something, maybe it was the tart. I'll be by myself, so I got some fancy snackies, crab cakes, smoked salmon, stuff for the charcuterie board. Oh, well, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Good morning, Melissa. All right, so we're just gonna stir this up. There, so I'll stir so you can see. And at first you may be going, Cindy, you're not cooking anything. Nope, you're right, I'm not. It's my kitchen, it's not cooking with Cindy. It's just Cindy's kitchen. You have no idea what goes on. You're having ham and tamales. We had tamales and rice last night. The Texas Tamale Company pork Tamales. Oh, those are my favorite. I love the Texas Tamale Company. Okay, so you see, we really didn't need two, that two tablespoons was plenty. 
Um, I am gonna put just a wee bit of salt in there. Just a, just a tiny little pinch. Because remember, it enhances our flavor. Couscous salad. Oh, that's right, you made the couscous salad and the air fried asparagus. Lasagna for Christmas dinner, good. Oh, you're making, are you making the tamales, Melissa? Or are you just like, you're buying tamales? Okay, so that's number two. So first we have green, now we have orange. I know, you'd think I'd pick Christmas vegetables, right? Okay, our last one that we're gonna make, I need another bowl, <clears throat> red cabbage. Now I want you to think about how expensive this is. A carrot, this is the smallest red cabbage I could find, an avocado, and some cilantro. I did Chinese takeout for dinner and I'm not cooking or doing anything. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I know. Okay, so I'm just gonna take out the outside layer because it's a little icky. Take that off. Ta and da, there we go. Oh, you make them, Melissa, I'm jealous. I had a friend uh, that used to make them. Her family made them every year, and so when we worked together, I would get a batch. All right, now, you could cut off a piece. I'm just gonna grate it straight from the head. Purple cabbage. This was not expensive. Um, so this is a cheap doodah, and if you were having people over, you could, you know, double, double up on this recipe or triple up on this recipe and make a whole board of these sandwiches, like as little tea sandwiches or a little appetizer or lunch, whatever you want to do. But I thought this might be fun. Um, could you use reg regular cabbage? Well, of course you could, but the whole point is it's a rainbow sandwich, right? Hello, Margaret. All right, hold on. You could use beets, although I know last time I did something with beets, several of you went, ugh. I like beets, but I know that pineapple tamales. Jenna, I have never had pineapple tamales. Has anybody else had sweet tamales? I think I had... Apple tamale? I can't remember the tamales I had. I had a sweetened one, but never, never 